All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to make popcorn in your cast iron skillet. Or if you actually had a uh, chicken fryer or a Dutch oven, cast iron Dutch oven, that would work a lot better. Um, but we can still do it in our uh, skillet here. Um, so we're gonna be making some fresh jolly time popcorn. And um, a little bit of this goes a long way. So um, what we wanna do first is we're gonna turn our pan on we're gonna start about a medium high heat and we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the pan, not, not a lot, maybe like just enough to coat the bottom. Let's let this spread around here. We just want enough to coat the bottom. Last time I put too much in and there was oil, as soon as the popcorn started popping there was oil flying everywhere, so. Um, probably about a tablespoon. Um, that looks good enough right there, I think. Okay, so while the pan's heating up, we're going to take a few kernels, maybe like three, and we're just going to drop them in here. Okay, we'll do four. Okay, five. And uh, they, these will tell us we don't want to stick all the kernels in right away because then uh, they'll start to burn. So if we just stick a few in now, um, once the oil gets up to popping temperature, these ones will pop and then we'll put the rest in. You, uh, you're going to need a lid too for this. So this is one from uh, a lid from one of my older um, Teflon chemical pans. So I'm just going to use this um, once we put the popcorn in. So you need a lid, grab it, because once this stuff starts popping, uh, it can get out of hand really quick. I had popcorn flying everywhere last time. You're also going to need um, a container so we can throw the popcorn in and then put a little bit of butter and salt and mix it up. Salt, of course, and some butter. So all that's for after. Let's see. Yeah, that's definitely enough oil. So once the popcorn does start popping, uh, we're just going to kind of shake it around, shake the pan around so it doesn't um, burn or stick to the bottom. So we'll just give it a few minutes here until the uh, oil heats up. I'm actually going to put the lid on because I don't want this flying everywhere. Yep, there's one. It tells me we're just about up to temperature. Okay, it's starting to smoke in there, so let's just put some in, and you don't need a lot, this stuff goes a long way, so you just kind of want a little even layer, that's probably enough right now, whoops, I'm so nervous about them popping. Okay, so there they go. I'm going to shake the pan. Actually, I need to get my other pot holder out for this. This is really getting hot. So I'm going to lift it up off the heat and shake it. And you can see it popping in there. The steam is really fogging up this glass here, but you get the idea. So if you put too much in, you can see, if you just have a cast iron skillet, you can see how this can get out of control. <laughs> the, the popcorn will pop so much, it'll come it'll raise your lid off. A few more kernels left in there. Whoa. 
That's what happened last time, but there was no lid, and they were all popping at once. Okay. So, just that little bit of mount made enough popcorn for me. Um, if I was going to have be sharing it with my wife, I'd put a little bit more popcorn in. But I'm not going to share right now. No, actually, she's not here. Okay, shall we remove the lid again? Let's try it. Okay. All right, so there's our popcorn. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and transfer it. Okay, so let's transfer it into our container here. See how many kernels, unpopped kernels we have. I think we got them all. Nice. There's our pan. Just give it, I just give this a wipe down. You don't need to really rinse it out or clean it. Okay, so let's add a little bit of butter. What do they call this? A dollop? A dollop of butter. And I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of salt. Okay, that's good. And put the lid on. And hopefully, hopefully there's enough heat in there to melt the butter. So this is real butter, unlike the uh, fake butter that you get at the movie theater. And um, hopefully it melted. Let's take a look. Looks like it did. Let's go ahead and give it a try here. Mm, I think it's just the right amount. Yeah, it has a good flavor. Maybe a tad bit more salt, but it's good. Um, fresh popcorn, straight from your cat's iron skillet. Now I'm going to go watch House of Cards. Thanks for watching.